Well, we're down here at Sellers Park just, of, just before today's match against Everton. Football Focus, as you will all know, obviously came live from Sellers Park today and we're delighted to be joined by tonight's Match of the Day commentator, John Watson. John, you're down here filming Football Focus. Yeah. Football Focus this season, out and about on the road. It just gives a different flavour to the programme, doesn't it? Definitely. I mean, I've been involved in the programme for about 40 years. In fact, if I could just give myself one little plug, I actually invented the name Football Focus. So there you go. That's how long I've been doing it. <laughs> but no, it, 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 the way of taking it round to clubs... Uh, provided we get the sort of cooperation we've had at Crystal Palace this morning where Dan Walker can walk around, put the pundits in different uh, parts of the ground. We've had this bit of fun with, with the commentary on the wall in the new Mark Brighton Ian Wright lounge. So it's been excellent for us. And Selhurst Park Stadium, Palace now back as a Premier League yeah. club. What are your memories from over the years? Oh. Obviously, this match in the semi-final against Liverpool will be well, one that, of the big that, memories. Well, that will stand out, of course, that cup run, because I did the game at Cambridge in the sixth round when you won 1-0, Jeff Thomas. Uh, the, the match at Villa Park will live in my memory probably longer than the final, because it was so dramatic, the way Palace came back and won 4-3. Well, let's see what Palace can do about it now in the second half as they attack the whole end here at Villa Park. John Pemberton, a lovely run early on, and a chance for Barber, and Venison, and it's a shot... Remember Alan Pardy, who's headed winner in extra time. <laughs> then we went to Wembley, uh, Manchester United, the three-all draw. Wrighty coming on as a sub. I think we've got uh, some of the commentary over there on that one. And right! Goal! It's Ian Wright again! Palace are in front at 3-2. And Steve Koppel has made one of the great substitutions... And a bit unlucky, Palace, actually, to lose 1-0 in the replay on the Thursday night. I well remember it. Uh, possible penalty appeal. These games hinge on such small margins. But in the end, it was a release for Alec Ferguson because it was his first trophy. And as a Match of the Day commentator, obviously, how is your work getting ready for the game? We know that you put a tremendous yeah. amount of work during the week. How yeah. does the week map out once you know on Monday you're doing Palace versus Everton on the Saturday? Well, it's a very good question. Um, it starts with me making a few phone calls to people I know at the club, hoping to get a bit of insight and help on what the team might be, what the injury situation is. Uh, I watch the DVD of their previous game if I haven't actually seen it. So in Palace's case, I've looked at two games that I haven't seen in the flesh. Uh, the West Brom one in particular, because it was the last one. Then from Thursday afternoon onwards, I'm doing my statistics, my research. Um, again, trying to top up information about the team. And on the Friday, I do my board, which I think you've probably seen one of those, where I, I put the teams down in the old-fashioned felt-tip pen, a few notes about each player. And then on the day, you react to what happens. I mean, as a commentator, you can't write your script because it, it hinges on the game. But what you can do is protect yourself a little bit with your preparation. 